my name is Rachel LeClaire, and for my oral presentation, I am going to be discussing the relationship between conflict and human nature. Uh, the essence of human nature, which is generally shared by all people, includes our core characteristics as a person, like our certain behaviors, feelings, or the mental actions. Um, within our human nature, we have our instant reactions, so our fight or flight responses. Um, all of these attributes of being a human come together and create who we are and how we behave in our day-to-day -day life. But when it comes to conflict, our human nature tends to be the same in the sense that what we have learned as humans and how we've learned to behave comes out within conflict and sometimes without even knowing so. The way that conflict is dealt with as a whole comes from some of the um, some of our natural instincts, which is known as human nature. So as humans, since we've been alive on Earth, we have had conflicts, whether it be with our friends, our family, co-workers, uh, or the community, other countries, the government, or even ourselves. But how humans deal with conflict has changed uh, remarkably since the United Nations, along with a lot of uh, general advancements of how we understand the human brain, and more studies regarding interpersonal and intrapersonal uh, conflicts. So over time, you can see the patterns and the different changes in the way that people deal with their conflicts, which is just a progression of human nature. Um, as, ten as people tend to acquire new behaviors through others, uh, through others' influences and by observing them or imitating them. Um, as time progresses, the instincts that we have acquired will evolve. Uh, so, for example, say that you're a child growing up, uh, you learn that fighting is wrong and frowned upon. Um, basically, as you grow up, since you were taught this belief, you may now avoid fighting with others or assume that if you're fighting with someone, it will end badly um, or that fighting is just a negative experience. Um, so since you grew up with this thought process, it's only human nature to continue these habits until you're shown otherwise as that's all that you're known. Um, so not only are we learning about how to deal with conflict from our immediate friends and family, but we are also learning from other sources like social media um, or our communities. But uh, we as humans tend to conform to social norms because that's the socially acceptable thing to do. But as time and uh, research progresses, the belief system of how to deal with conflict has started to change. Uh, since conflict is an inevitable part of life, um, as people encounter conflict every day, um, it's a very minor or major thing that we have to deal with, depending on what that conflict may be. Um, but when you deal with conflict in an appropriate manner, um, you're more likely to get success from that. Um, and more importantly, not only just have success, but a change. Since people are acquiring uh, new skills as they grow and evolve into different people, the way that uh, the way to keep change in the way that conflict is dealt with is by continuing the norm of learning about conflict resolution, um, especially within ourselves. Since internal conflict includes the mental struggles of having to make decisions and knowing that those decisions will impact someone and impact whoever is involved. Um, so basically, our human nature does not define us, but it does define our instincts and the behaviors that we're born with. But human nature can be changed and developed over time. Uh, for example, some of the reasons that we may uh, experience internal conflict is from the beliefs or religions, uh, social values or rules that we've learned from our parents, from our family, and from our friends around us. Um, since we've been placed with these mental standards from the get-go, um, it's more likely that we will struggle with internal conflict. Um, by having more internal conflicts and not knowing how to deal with them is when it'll start to create problems uh, in the way that we deal with conflict every day. Human nature and conflict have a relationship in the sense that humans will behave and act upon conflicts in a manner that they were taught, and that is a social norm. But since human nature is changeable, the matter of which conflict resolution is handled is also changeable. Um, People will always go towards their human nature instinctively, um, but as people grow, evolve, and change, so do human nature uh, tendencies. 
human nature and conflict will always be related as humans are what creates conflict and humans are the ones that deal with and settle conflict. Um, as long as humans are evolving, so will human nature in the way that we deal with conflict. Uh, thank you for listening.